So in one of my recent videos, I let you guys know that Google TV is essentially on the cusp or on the verge of replacing Android TV. And what we're starting to see is that a lot of manufacturers, whether it's for TV manufacturers, box manufacturers, projector manufacturers, instead of pushing out their devices with Android TV, we're seeing that Google TV starting to come on these new devices. So we all know that the Nvidia Shield is the most popular streaming device that has the Android TV interface. Most people love it and they hate to see this change. But what I found out in that video is that a lot of folks really don't know the difference between Google TV and Android TV. And even though they're similar, there are some differences as well. So this video, what I'm gonna do is a quick comparison, Google TV next to Android TV. In the comments, let me know which one you guys think it's a better UI. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Google TV first hit the screens in 2020 when it came alongside a new version of Google's Chromecast dongle. We all of course know that that's a Chromecast with Google TV. It was the de facto smart TV interface for the new Google Power TVs and set-top boxes. And for now, that is the new default smart TV interface for any uh, Google TV powered TV or set-top boxes that are being released. So if you went to the store and tried to buy uh, Google TV or Android TV, more than likely, if a manufacturer used to come with Android TV, there's a good chance it's now rolling out Google TV. So what are the main similarities between Google TV and Android TV? So both Google TV and Android TV offer the same uh, selection for smart TV applications, games, while also featuring support for voice command with the Google Assistant. Smart home controls, casting, Chromecast, and media streaming. Both TV systems also offer video games. So what are the main differences between Android TV and Google TV? So under the hood, they essentially are running the same thing. You can still uh, access the Google Play Store via your App Store. You can download pretty much the same applications. You'll get the same quality. But what the main difference is, is gonna be the user interface, what it looks like on the outside. While Android TV recommendations are based on apps, and if you own Nvidia Shield, you're gonna see a row of applications. They have made some updates recently, but you'll see for the most part applications be recommended or the recommendations will be based off applications. So what Google does is uses the AI, learns, what you like to watch, what you like to look at. The data is then used to make tailored suggestions on the home screens, dedication for you tab, show relevant promotions, and highlight popular content in your region. Google TV also has a live tab, which displays active broadcasts from likes of Sling TV, YouTube TV, and so something piques your interest, simply tap on the thumbnail, go straight to the broadcast. There's no need to open multiple apps when you find something you want to watch. Another thing that's different between the two is with the profiles and how they're handled. So unlike Android TV, Google TV supports multiple kids' profiles on their single adults, Google account with personal recommendations for each profile. Now while content restrictions on Android TV are handled via its system wide parental settings, Google TV lets you create child profiles with own set of boundaries for content which can be managed via the Google Family Link service. So Google goes more in depth, give you more control and essentially lets you uh, control what each account is able to do. So as I said in the intro, pretty much all new Google powered devices hitting the market, such as the Sony Bravia and TLC TVs will be preloaded with Google TV from the outset. But it doesn't look like older Android TVs will be getting an update to a new platform. So for anyone asking about the Nvidia Shield, what will happen if Android TV stop rolling out? I don't think for one that they'll stop pushing updates and they will not upgrade it to the Google TV interface. But I just think that new products coming out, whether it's a new Nvidia Shield, which we are due for, might see that Google TV UI um, pop up in it. So in the end, not a big deal to me. In my opinion, Android TV you have more uh, options as far as customizing what you want to see on the homepage. Google TV, like I said, it uses more of that AI knowledge to, to recommend what they think you want to watch. And the interface on Google TV is a little bit cleaner in my opinion, but under the hood, you still get the same accessibility options, ability to download third-party applications, as well as the ability to access the applications on the Google Play Store. So in the comment section, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if this kind of cleared it up a little bit for you. In my opinion, they're definitely more similar than they are different. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.